with uh, Kenji over here in Stockton. Um, I'm working on CR, I want to call it CR04, but now it's CR08. Um, man, this thing had a laundry list of problems. I thought maybe it was a Ford problem, but I dove into it before I sent it to the dealer because I didn't want to get embarrassed. But uh, this is what I found just in case you ever want to go over it again. I'm going to try to get this for you so you could use this for the rest of your life. Uh, I'll just kind of stay on there for a second. But since, uh, since it's on here, this yellow and gray wire is hot in the key on engine off or running. And that powers not only my 85 leg on the relay, but my 30 leg. And uh, they didn't have it like that for some reason. So what I did was I had to tee twice. It's all soldered uh, shrink wrap connections. They're permanent. And uh, it's kind of hard to see with all this sh stuff I got going on here. But here's my 85 leg. Here's my 30 leg. And they're all tied into the gray, yellow with a gray tracer. And that's straight. Uh, blunt cut wire from the PCM. I'm trying to see if I can get that. It's this guy right there, straight off the PCM. From that goes to my switch. From my switch, uh, when the PTO is engaged, yellow with a blue tracer is then uh, lit up, and that's this guy, yellow with a blue. They didn't have it like that for some reason, but that's coming straight off my switch. It's a temporary connection right now just because I'm trying to prove some stuff. Um, and I wanted to make sure this relay worked. The relay ground comes straight from the PCM. There's nothing I can do with that. As you can see, relay ground straight from the PCM. It becomes a ground when this becomes a hot and it feels like all the requirements are met wild stuff but I, I think if you look at this and actually uh, kind of pay attention to it you can see it so there's two different things I can do for RPM one is a uh, like a solid state uh, variable resistor um, I don't have that on this one I have a alternate RPM set point which is a 5,000 ohm potentiometer and I'm gonna show you what else was kind of jacked up here Okay. I don't know how this thing ever ran, but uh, on this potentiometer they had this green and uh, I don't know what VE is. Oh, that's YE, yellow with a violet tracer. The colors don't really mean anything here, but those two were backwards. Because they were backwards, I wasn't getting any RPMs. Now I am. It's kind of tough to hear it, but maybe we can. That led me to my next problem. Because this potentiometer puts out like 4.5 volts on this leg when it's, uh, how do you say that? when it's fully uh, WOT, wide open throttle. Because of that, it would make my engine rev to the moon if, uh, if I didn't put this stopper here. I had to put a stopper here. That way it stops at, it stops at uh, 1400 RPMs. That's just something I made up. I can adjust that by grinding that stopper or adjusting it. And I kinda wanna show you this table so I was telling you about voltages controlling RPMs. I got this from the dealer. I got a friend over there, he kind of helped me out. But with 4.5 volts, I was able to achieve 2400 RPMs. I just think that's too high for this thing. So I'm only allowing it to get 2.15 volts, which gives me about 1500 RPMs. We can play with that if we had to. So I'm gonna upload this to uh, my channel uh 
and maybe we can go back and uh, diagnose it if uh, something ever went wrong with it. So uh, this is just to kind of help everybody out. CR08. Pulling my hair out on it for a day, but I think we licked her. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys.